Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, going to do a video today on uh, my roaches, uh, cleaning them and uh, taking the babies out, stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully um, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I did take the, uh, the fisheye lens off of the camera, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. If it doesn't turn out right, I'll just uh, uh, redo it. Um, basically, this is uh, uh, my roach colony, our, our part of my roach colony. These are dubias. Um, I actually took the dishes out already and kind of dumped the uh, food out of them. Um, but as you can see, you just have a large tub uh, with um, egg crate in it. Uh, I did have food and water dishes, but whenever I go through and set them back up, I'll show you how I do all that stuff. Uh, they are actually in a rack that is this size. It's bigger than a regular 32 quart. Um, it's probably like a 64 or something like that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what size it is, but this is basically how I have them set up. Um, as you can see, there's poop all through here. Um, and as I flip it over, there's a couple babies in here. So what I'm going to do is just knock everything off. Um, hopefully getting, you know, all the babies and stuff out of here as well. Uh, just kind of checking to make sure. Um, what we're doing here and I'll just set that egg crate to the side um, do the same thing with this one just want to get all the babies out of here um, so that we're not missing any that one looks pretty clean oh, this guy's break dancing um, you can see there's a lot of babies in this one actually um, these are the little baby nymphs um, these are uh, the adult females right here. I'll see if I can find a male so that you guys can see the, what males look like. Uh, males have the wings, which uh, there's a male right there running around. Uh, there's another one right there. Um, I thought I'd put more males in here than that, but I guess not. Maybe I'll have to go through and take uh, a couple more males out of the other container. Um, it doesn't really take a whole lot of males. Usually a lot of people will actually feed off the males first um, just because they uh, are kind of useless after a certain point of males. I mean, you don't need millions of them in here. Um, the females are what's more important. And as you can see, just gently tapping everything off in here, trying to get them all to come off of the egg crate. All right, there we go. All right, so what we're going to do now, since we uh, took uh, all the egg crate out, you can see there's poop uh, laying around. Uh, this uh, colony has been set up for about two weeks, um, so it's not really a lot of poop. Um, I had some uh, little clementines in here that I was feeding them, um, just making sure that there's no babies inside uh, this one. But yeah, as you can see, they kind of really just took all the good stuff out and left the rest. Um, this one actually... Um, still has some uh, some orange in there, so we'll actually set that to the side and I'll feed that back to them. Um, I just put all this uh, vegetable matter in here um, last night, um, so that's still okay. Um, it's not moldy or anything like that, but what we're going to do is I'm actually just going to go through and separate um, the babies from the adults, um, which I'll show you how I do that. Um, first off, just want to dump everything into a little bit more manageable tub here and then we'll come back to this tub as you can see it's still pretty clean um, and what I did was um, took uh, four uh, five gallon Lowe's buckets and basically cut holes in the bottom of them of different sizes as you can see and then the last bucket of course you don't want any holes in it so that uh, um, the babies don't get out and then basically you just put the buckets together like this um, in like the biggest holes first, of course, so you can actually kind of strain them out through. Um, usually the adults will actually fall through um, the first one um, because I cut them a little bit too big, but usually you'll have the vegetation still stay up there, so it kind of separates that out. Then all you got to do is dump them all in there. And then just kind of twirl it around a little bit. And usually the uh, adults will try to crawl through there. And I'll actually give them a little bit more time. Um, as you can see, you'll probably see a lot of the adults going down through the holes because they want to get away from the light. Um, but while that's going on, what I'm going to do 
is put the, con the uh, egg crate back in their container here while I'm waiting for those guys. Um, this is uh, their water dish. Basically, it's uh, uh, about six of the select size paper towels um, put into a dish. And then I just sprayed it with water. Um, I tucked the sides underneath so that they can't really get under it a whole lot either. Um, and then we just throw that in the corner. Um, get uh, some of our uh, um, uh, like chicken mesh. Put that in there. And then uh, grab another dish um, just to put like their vegetable matter and stuff like that in there. Um, have a whole bunch of uh, stuff in here, uh, or like the little clementines, um, carrots, stuff like that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll throw some carrots in there first, uh, maybe cut a little bit of this up. Uh, this one's probably going bad, but they eat it. It's no big deal. It's not going to hurt them. Um, they're freaking roaches. So. Uh, so I'll just put a little bit of that in there. And then I'll probably end up putting uh, some of the... Uh, um, the vegetable matter that was still in there, back in there as well. Um, what I do with the uh, orange is pretty much just cut it in half. Uh, they really like the oranges, um, they like the citrus. Um, so that's basically the container set back up. So now what we're going to do is go back over to our bucket. And then I'll actually bring my bucket back over here. What I'm going to do is, there's probably no uh, babies left in the vegetable matter here. Sorry, the lighting's probably pretty crappy. Um, so I'm just going to throw that back in here on top. Kind of move that away from the water dish so we don't get any anything messed up here. I'm going to grab my garbage can. I'll come back over to the light so you guys can see what's going on here. Usually what this does as well is um, you'll see a couple dead ones in here. Um, the dead ones won't go down through the hole. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier. Um, kind of separates the uh, dead ones out as well. All right, guys, party's over. Let's go. That one's a dead one, too. But you'll have that. Roaches die. Um, and as you can see, they all the adults went down through. Um, I was able to get my vegetable matter out of there. I just want to make sure that none of them are right here. All right. Then next step, um, you'll see that in the next round here, Still some vegetable matter, but uh, there's all of our adults separated out for the most part. They can't get through that second uh, that second layer there. So what we'll do is make sure that there's none on the other side here. Just had a, a male. Looks like the males can squeeze through, which that's never a good thing. I don't want to lose my males. Um, then we just uh, basically will dump this back in here after they get up every get all these guys out of here now we'll just kind of push the vegetable matter back over to the corner like that and then they're all out that's all the adults so put that back on there and as you can see no babies um, so that uh, was the easy way to separate them, and we'll put them back, put the adults back up into the rack here. I'm going to grab another tub, and then what we got left is um, some bigger babies right here, which these bigger babies, um, let's see if any of them will fall back through. These bigger babies are probably a little bit older. So what I'll do with those, oops, is, well, first of all, I'll get all the babies off of here that I can. Some of them kind of stick onto there. So what I got left is um, a little bit bigger babies, and I'll actually throw those into my existing colony already. And then they're all out of there. They just got thrown in with a uh, little bit older ones. And then what you'll have left is the poop and uh, some of that cricket mash stuff and a bunch of the babies. And then what I'll do with this is uh, take my uh, sifter. Dump them all into that. And then what this will do is get rid of all the poop, 
but uh, all the babies will stay actually in the sifter because they're actually too big to get through. You can hear all the poop uh, going down through. And as you can see in the garbage can, there's no like little babies crawling around in there or anything like that. And then what we'll do is bring these guys over here. And basically uh, throw them all into here. And then what I'll do is just slide this, uh, slide them all to the side there. And then put their water dish in. Um, they've got a lot of crumbles right there, so I won't even put a crumble dish in there. Um, but what I will do is probably um, put like a uh, one of these small dishes in here with some carrot. Um, let's see if I can't grab some here. And then we'll just put that in there like that. Um, and then this just goes back into the rack for right now. Um, I still have to put the uh, egg crate material in there, which got a couple laying around here. Hopefully you're not getting dizzy from me moving around too quick for you. So I'll put that in there like that. And uh, since these guys are not uh, climbers, they're not going to get out of here anyway. So what I'll do next is I have another colony of these guys. And we'll just do the same thing to it. Um, I'll actually go through this one a little bit faster. Um, and uh, maybe we'll just listen to some music while we do it. Um, if you want to get into leopard gecko breeding or any type of gecko breeding, you're going to be doing a lot of cleaning. Um, and this is just part of, uh, part of what you have to do. Um, but I'll go through real quick and do these ones. Uh, hopefully I have time and don't uh, cut this segment out. Um, but hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll turn some music on so you guys can hear some tunes. Gotta get everything set back up the way I need it to be. Got buckets. Put the buckets back in order here. And bring this back over. All right, let's do this. That one will get loose there. to show you this too. 
Um, this is actually an egg sack out of the back of uh, one of the, I think it is anyway. Kind of looks gross. Pretty sure that was an egg though. Oh, looks like one of our males died. Time to throw him away. Come on, fatty. Get out of there. Sometimes the buckets stick together. It's kind of a pain. Alrighty. Good to go. Our song's over already. Must be doing this slow. Alrighty. Uh, I see more males laying around in here. Probably what I'll do is move some of these males up to the top one. Um, just because it looks like there's more males in here than um, than the other one. But as you can see, all the adults back into uh, the adult container. And put those guys back. And then in here, I don't know if we can see real quick. Uh, I got a male in there and then one that's a little bit bigger. What we'll do is just take this male out and put the male up into the top. I uh, got uh, one of the mid-sized ones here, put him back in, I apologize for the lighting, the lighting probably sucks, make sure that all the babies are off of here, actually I'll just dump that vegetable matter back in, put that back in there. Looks good. Then we got our babies again uh, with some vegetable matter in there and poop and some crumbles. So what we'll do again is just dump it in there. Get it all out. You can still see some of it falling out right there. But that's pretty much uh, going to be everything. Um, so what we'll do is just toss it in here. And then you can already see the babies getting away from the crumbles, um, going back into where it's dark. Um, they'll get into the egg crate and uh, make their homes and start growing. Um, this rack, I do have it turned on. It's about uh, 92 degrees in the hot spot which the hot spot in this one will run probably about right here. Um, so it's perfect for them to uh, hide in here, get warm, and uh, then come out into the cool to eat. And then they usually uh, find their way back in. Um, these ones right here are probably like brand new babies. Um, they haven't even shed yet. Um, whenever they're getting ready to shed, they turn, or after they shed for the first time, they turn white like that or whenever they first hatch. Um, then as uh, within like a probably less than a day I would say they turn brown like that and that's just the shell hardening on them hopefully these babies get out of the way all right well that was the uh, video on the dubia um, I'll see if I can't uh, make another one for the uh, uh, the Turkish roaches that I have as well they haven't really bred or anything like that so um, I might just hold off until there's actually babies in the container with you all right thanks very much guys see you